Hi, I'm Paul O'Connor and I'm the family support worker here at Fleetwood Sports College. Yeah, it was a project initially set up by Wire Housing and Fleetwood Sports College and they felt it important that they should have a link between uh, parents and the school and they came up with uh, my post. In school, I, I'm there for them basically. I'm someone that they, hopefully they can, they can approach and talk to. So I, I, I see a lot of the time kids being sent out of classrooms. So I, I give them the time to, to air their views and explain to me why they're in the situation they're in. Um, because I'm a, I put myself across as a approachable person, um, I can link between the child and the teacher as well and sort of smooth things over. Stop it escalating and then the, the child ended up getting excluded. I do a range of activities um, in the evenings with the young people. I've got a football club going on at the moment. I'll get a dance teacher in to teach street dancing on a Tuesday evening. Um, both are well uh, attended by the young people. They seem to get a real bit of a real kick out of it because it's not. I don't put it across as another lesson. It's a bit of fun and it's exercise as well. Yeah, the the, uh, the feedback I'm getting from the parents, they think it's a, a fantastic idea that someone like me around, where I'm at just at the end of a phone, or they know they can just walk into school, ask for me, and I'll, I'll appear, and and we can sort certain problems out. With the, with the children before they escalate. You have the um, the coffee morning, I think, once a month, is that right? That's right, we have the uh, uh, arranged coffee morning once a month where parents can come in. Uh, they can, also, can actually access the internet while they're with me. Uh, we've got computers set up there so they can come in and, and they can use the computers or they can request the, the, young, the, the child's teachers and they can come in and talk to, the, talk to the parents as well. So everything's sort of central hmm. and a lot of problems can be sorted out there and then instead of letters and phone calls and appointments they, can, they know they can just come straight in and get something sorted that's great and why do you think football it makes a difference to these young people why do why is that important that they do this a lot of, a lot of the, the young people that come to football are, are these lads that haven't really experienced uh, what it's like to play or to be as part of a team. So they tend to stay away from it. And now that I've got them involved, um, the changes are immense. The, the, I think they're realising now that you don't have to be a fantastic footballer to be part of a team. Uh, and they're responding quite extremely well to that. Uh, some of them still think that it's, it's easy to be disruptive. But I'm slowly turning that around now and all the players that do turn up, um, they just want to play football. That's great. And then, so how did they get on today then with the match? Uh, a tight game today. Um, we're used to, to winning by four or five goals. But today 
the uh, the team, which was uh, St Mary's from Bamber Bridge, came up, and we'd already beaten them six two last week. Uh, but they, I could tell they were up for it this week. Um, but we we managed to win two one, which was uh, which is a great score because we we scored the win in the last last two minutes. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Paul.